This is Silka Pan at the top of her game more than a decade ago. As a professional acrobat, her body was a work of art. And this is her now, after 10 years in a wheelchair, back up on her feet. The first time I, I stood up with that exoskeleton was really uh, emotional for me. It was um, I, as if I were, were in a dream. Uh, I couldn't believe it and I, to see my legs moving and making the movement of, of, of walking was really uh, so phenomenal. She is walking thanks to this device called the TWICE exoskeleton. It weighs just 14 kilograms. TWICE is made of two main components. The first one is the structure, so it acts like the bones of a normal leg, so it makes the, the whole thing hold together. And then there are the electrical motors. These are like m muscles that make the, the whole structure move as you're moving with your leg. The exoskeleton has different speeds, can change direction and even climb stairs, thanks to a set of buttons on the crutches that are part of the device. Its designers say the goal was always to make a suit that lets people move on two legs through everyday life. And this is why we are trying to, I would say, to, to democratize this uh, exoskeleton concept and by developing uh, lightweight exoskeletons by developing uh, co cost affordable exoskeletons and by uh, giving the exoskeletons the, the, the more daily living functions. Researchers are now working on improving the suit and Pan expects it to become even more functional. I hope that in a few years um, we people like me uh, will be able to, to choose between a wheelchair and an exoskeleton, maybe to have both, and to live their daily life with it, to, to go shopping with it, to climb uh, stairs, to climb um, a ladder. The exoskeleton will be on display at a robotics competition being held in Dubai later this month. Kevin Enix, VOA News, Washington.